<laughs> Fuck yeah. Thank you for calling 7 Eleven. This is Hawk speaking. How may I help you? Hi, this is uh, Charles Finley calling from the corporate office. Were you able to get a hold of the manager? Um, I can. Well, no, the I, I had spoken to him and uh, he told me he was going to relay a message uh, because we need to do a quick uh, test on your Diet Coke due to some possible E. coli uh, contamination. Hold on. Are you, are you serious? Yeah, well, you didn't read that uh, the bottling company in Pennsylvania that bottles our Diet Coke as well as our 7 Select Water uh, has possible E. coli? You're kidding. Mm-hmm. This is a print caller. No, sir. You can Google it right hey, now. Hey, Tony, uh, did you hear about some kind of E. coli? Out- did you hear about some E. coli outburst, outbreak? Yep. If you uh, give me a second here, the article is from the 22nd. It was two days ago. Uh, Hold on one second. Sure. Hi, this is Tony. Hi, Tony. Uh, I was calling regarding the 7 Select Water as well as the Diet Coke 2 liters. Uh, I was informing him that uh, I'd spoken to the uh, manager earlier uh, about the possible okay. E. coli in the products uh, that we were trying to yeah, do. Yeah, I read about some of that on mm-hmm. uh, on the internet earlier today. Right. Um, it was supposed to be specifically to uh, bottled water. Uh, right, but what they do is they actually, the water from 7-Eleven, it's, it's part of a big chain, and actually it's also incorporated into the Diet Coke. Okay. And so what they're having us do is they're having us call the specific uh, locations that are on the bill of lading to do a quick survey, or I'm sorry, a quick survey, a quick test on the Diet Coke as well as the water. Okay, uh, see, and how would I go about doing that? Well, there's a uh, two-step procedure that we would do, and uh, you would all you would have to notify us of is if there was a color change uh, in either product. Okay. Um, and ho- hold on a second. Mm-hmm. Um, do I need to take and call a number back and... You said a color change. Yes, I mean, we can do the, the uh, experiment right now uh, to see if there's a color change. If there's a color change, I'll have you pull the products, and we'll send the uh, GM down to uh, scoop up the product, and we'll send it back uh, to the Coke dealership as well as back to our own personal <coughs> our own personal location with the water. Okay, so what do I need to do? I have a bottle of 7-Eleven water in my hand. Okay, well, well first we're going to do with the Diet Coke. Okay, so any but any two li- one liter bottle, two liter Diet Coke, and then your bottled water for Seven Eleven. Okay, let me go get a. I'm in the cooler. Let me go get a, a two liter Diet Coke. Sure. Excuse me, I got a little bit of a cold here. Oh, not a problem. Okay, I have a two liter Diet Coke. Okay, we're gonna start with the water first. And okay. what I need you to do is, I have to have an acidic. Um, an acidic agent to react with the E. coli. Uh, of course, the water is clear now. Do you see any like particulates, anything floating in the water? Um, no. No. What I need, um, and what's been handy enough, we have it in our uh, standard operating procedure, is the Mentos mints. Okay, let me go get a pack. Please, thank you. Absolutely. And I'll just write these off as damage. Right, right. And what we'll do is we'll actually send out uh, an email uh, authorizing that, and that'll come back to corporate instead of uh, the franchisee and the manager taking that loss. Okay. Um, so I have regular Mentos. Right, and we're going to do it with the water. Open it, Open up the water. Okay, let me walk back again. I'm doing all this in the back room. Okay. Okay, I opened it up. Okay, let me have you drop uh, six mints into the water. Uh, and try to drop them all at the same time. Uh, it, it works out better that way. And let me okay. know if there's a color change in the water. We've been noticing if there's an E. coli contamination, it's actually turning a yellowish color. Really? Yes. Okay, let me pour out a little bit of the water. Mm-hmm. And how long does it need to set? Uh, for approximately 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Well, that's quick. Okay, so it's in the, it's in the water. Okay, and now are you noticing any type of color change or reaction in the water? No, none at all. Okay, no fizzing or no color change? Um, no. Okay, we got about uh, 20 more seconds here. We're just uh, 
following the handbook here to see how, if anything happens. Okay. I'm, just, I'm noticing a little sediment in the bottom, but that looks like it's just a mint. Probably from the mints, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Right. I mean, if we didn't notice sediment before we began, uh, we put the mints in there, it would start to react and it would turn a yellow color. Okay. Okay, go ahead and, and let that water sit. We're going to let it sit while we uh, turn our attention to the Diet Coke. Okay, not a problem. I opened that up. Okay, and now the same thing. Drop six in, and if you could do it simultaneously, that would be great. Uh, we get a better reaction that way. Oh, yeah, not a problem. Uh, pour out just a little bit first so you got room to drop it in. Okay. Just a little bit there. Four. I mean, j just a few drops. I mean, enough to where you can fit those in. Okay, they're going in right now. Okay. Whoa! Okay. okay, I just made a complete mess. What happened? Um, when I dropped the Mentos in, it kind of started foaming up all over the place. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, all the, all of them are in there. Okay, and if you had to gauge, how how high did it go? Um, it was volcanic. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, um... Um, I did, don't know. I, as soon as it started... Um, okay. It probably took half of the bottle and shot it out. Oh my goodness. Okay. I need to duplicate this uh, in case, you know, it's a false positive because that's a, that's a positive right there. I, I hate to ask you this. I need another two liter. Okay. Not a problem. Thank you. Because um, we, we don't want to, you know, pull all the product off the shelf if it was a false positive. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, good thing I have Diet Cokes just right around the corner. Oh, there. fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. I got to go. I got to run and get another pack of Mentos, though. Okay. And it's a good thing we don't have the Diet Cokes, or we don't have any two liter product actually in the cold vault. So oh, okay. It's all on the floor. Gotcha. It's all, it's all warm. It's not in the cold. Correct. Okay. Is that going to make a difference on this test? No. No. Okay. Okay. And what what I'd like you to do this may help because I don't know if because when the when the mints bump into each other it may have caused a reaction. Rip the end off of the Mentos pack. And then you may be able to just push from the other end. You know, put it up to the to the mouth and just push them from the I other understand. end. And uh, we'll see what happens. Oops. Okay. So, one, three, four, five, six. Okay, here's the second experiment. Okay. Oh, it's exploding. Oh, my God. It, it, it exploded as soon as I dropped one in it. How high did it go? Um, if I didn't put my hand, it would probably hit the ceiling. Oh, my and goodness. And it's still bubbling. Oh, my goodness. With just one in it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. No, the... Uh, no, everything seems to be Wait. good. I, it checked out. Everything's good. Oh, okay. It's supposed to explode. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that was a bad reaction. No, no, that's a good reaction. That's the one we were looking for. Stupid. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still going and going and going, and it's just bubbling out with just one Mentos um, in it. Now, before I go, because I do have it on recording, so I can, uh, you know, make sure that the, the you know the corporate offices I did uh, check with this location. Uh, can you okay. can you repeat something for me so I have it on recording? Yes, sir. Uh, say I'm a dumb fucking Dwight rules. I'm a what? Got him! <laughs> Say, I'm a dumb fuck and Dwight rules. Um, yeah, I won't do that. Boom. News, sports, music, but, 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 but mostly prank calls. You're listening to, you're listening to, you're listening to Prank Call Nation.